Hello there and welcome to BizWorld. Yayasan Pelaburan Bumiputra YPB's Board of Trustees has appointed Prime Minister Tantri Muhyiddin Yassin as its chairman. Meanwhile, Finance Minister Datsri Tengku Zafrul Aziz will be the deputy chairman effective April the 14th. In a statement, Bermodala National Burhad PNB said the Board of Trustees comprises four members, adding that Tantri Zeti Aziz and Tantri Ambrin Buang would remain as members of the board. The YPB Board of Trustees and PNB's Board of Directors also welcomed the new appointments and will work under their leadership and guidance to take PNB to the next level. Weak global oil prices, subdued demand and generous discounts for household electricity bills have prompted RAM ratings to revise downwards its headline inflation projection for 2020. The rating agency lowered its projection from 0.7 to 0 percent and envisages a deflationary trend in the second and third quarters of this year. While inflation remains stable at 1.5 percent in January-February, it is expected to ease to negative 0.2 percent in March. RAM ratings said a key trigger of the downward revision is the likelihood of a deeper and more persistent weakness in oil prices amid a supply glut. Despite the recent OPEC-led agreement to cut production, the biggest on record, the move may not be enough to offset the overwhelming loss in demand amid the coronavirus pandemic. Amana Saham National Burhad ASNB has announced an online withdrawal facility for selected unit trust funds under its management through the My ASNB portal. Unit holders will now be able to withdraw their investment from any of their ASNB unit trust accounts, except for ASN Saradua and ASN Equity Lima. The amount will be transferred to the unit holder's bank account registered with My ASNB on the following working day. Unit holders are allowed to withdraw a minimum amount of 100 ringgit per transaction. However, the My ASNB withdrawal facility is limited to three transactions per month, with a maximum accumulated amount of 500 ringgit from any of the ASNB unit trust accounts belonging to the unit holder. This online withdrawal service will also be made available via the My ASNB application from April the 27th onwards. Malayan cement Burhad's forward volumes are expected to be supported by post-movement control order MCO pent-up demand from the in-progress domestic construction projects and decent export traction spilling over into 2021. Malayan cement's key earnings would also be underpinned by significant synergistic benefits to be reaped from its ongoing business integration with YTL Cement. RHB Investment Bank Burhad said the upcoming 12th Malaysia plan will provide longer-term volume visibility potentially skewed towards the upside owing to pent-up demand from previously delayed infrastructure project rollouts. Going into 2021, demand visibility remains well supported by large-scale public project implementation including the ECRL, MRT2, LRQ3 and Banda Malaysia. However, its key risks include a relapse into a price war, the prolonged COVID-19 situation undermining its cash flow. Save up to 800 ringgit and enjoy clean air with your family at home by getting a Kowei Air Purifier Lombok 2. And that's all for now. I'm Brandon Wong. Please stay at home and stay tuned to TV Tigger.